Today's challenge is about creativity. To succeed as a chef, you've really got to succeed with your ingredients. Today, you're working with lobster. Live, beautiful, stunning lobsters. Oh my God. I don't even know if I've ever eaten lobster before. Good job, Bonnie. Good job. Right over here. Right I over got here. a big fucker. <laughs> I there. did. In there, Bonnie. Hi, right, guys. I'm sorry. I know you're sad, Bonnie, but we just gotta do it. <laughs> you happy now? I was proud of her. She overcame her fear. First up, both with salads, it's Bonnie versus Melissa. Bonnie. Yes, yeah, Chef. What have you made? I made a grilled lobster salad with baked apples. A very ambitious grilling lobster. This is the first time in a while that I've shown him what I can make. I was so nervous. Mmm. That's nice. Really, the lobster's dangerous, but it worked. Thank you. Melissa. Yes, Chef. What have you done? It's a citrus herb salad with poached lobster. I like the freshness um, of the citrus fruit with the lobster salad. And then there's a slight disappointment with the lobster, because it's not really cooked properly. But the edge goes to Bonnie. Julia, what have you made? I made a lobster risotto. Well, I just went with the um, regular recipe for risotto and then added lobster. That's something that we know that I know how to make. Lobster, very tender. It's nice. I've never had quite such an intriguing, spicy lobster like that. That was a huge compliment coming from Chef Ramsay. And I just kind of guessed, really, on how long I should cook it. I mean, I really did just guess. Risotto, boring. Expected a little bit more excitement. Yes, Chef. Rock. Yes, sir. Blow me away. What is it? Buttermilk fried lobster tail. Ambitious. Yeah, lobster tempura. It was different. It was creative. Trying to win some cool points. Mm, cooked perfectly. Very, very good. Rock. Yes, sir. You've got the edge on that one. So it's a tie. Jen. Yes, Chef. What have you made? I made a lobster and crab bisque. I used some saffron, some thyme. I never made a bisque before, but I knew about different flavors, and I had an idea. Simple, classic. Nice. Lobster's not too chewy. Yeah, nice and soft. Nice. Right, blue team. Brad. Yes, Chef. What is it, please? It's a lobster bisque with uh, de serrano chantilly. Classical is good, but I just I like to go modern. Everybody's seen classical, so I like to kind of like put a twist on things. Lobsters cook nicely. Thank you, Chef. That's nice. It's tough. It's very, very tough. I'm so sorry. There has to be a loser. The winners are the red team. Well done. Yeah! Chef Ramsay doesn't like foofy food. The red team was more simplistic. The proof was in the flavor. Don't be disappointed, because that was the hardest decision so far. Good morning. Early bird catches the worm. Wakey, wakey. Right, listen to me. As the head chef at the Savoy Grill in London, you'll be working with some of the most sought after, some of the most expensive, and some of the rarest ingredients ever. For today's challenge, you're going to have to be creative with These babies here. Wow. Yes? Absolutely phenomenal. 10 pound lobsters. For a 10 pound lobster, you pretty much need to either scuba dive and get it yourself, or you need to run down to your local aquarium. Jason, come over here. I want to introduce you to Salvatore. Yes? <laughs> Be very careful. 10 pound baby. I took very good care of Salvatore. I love you. Nelka. 
Let me introduce you to your friend Siobhan. <laughs> yes. Hello, no, Siobhan. There you go. Give me a little kiss. <laughs> I work with some big ass lobsters in my life, but that was the biggest. I'm excited. I know how to cook lobster! So, for your next challenge, I want each and every one of you to come up with an exciting, creative dish with lobster. I want something that's gonna blow my mind away. Yeah. Yeah. So, you've all got 45 minutes starting from now. I'm gonna poach it real quick just to kill it and set it. Yeah, that's fine. Poach it. Can I use tail? Can I use a claw? I wanted a piece of the tail. No, I, I'll take the tail. So I guess I got the bo uh, the body is shit. But there's a huge tail. There's a huge, I don't need the whole tail. I just yeah. take the bottom, yeah. All right. While Nilka and Benjamin argue over their lobster tail, in the blue kitchen, Ed lights a fire under his. I saw Ed grilling the lobster tail, which scared me a little bit because lobster tail is already a little tough. How's that lobster? More fun. To poach it and grill it, I was a little concerned about that. How's that feel to you? I just don't want it too rubbery. It feel good. Good Lord, baby Jesus, that's gonna be good. What's that? The vine's gonna be so good, I'm so happy. Jay thinks he knows more than everybody else. I don't let that bother me. Uh, if I let that bother me, that's when I would fall apart. Jeff wants creative, he's gonna get creative. A lot of people talk like that and a lot of people fail. I love to cook, I love to cook. While Jay cooks with confidence, back in the red kitchen, Nilka and Benjamin make a difficult break. Oh, it's gorgeous. You gonna split it down the middle? I'm gonna keep it whole and I'll just cut it out for you. Benjamin just ripped it out. I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Now, what the hell am I going to do now? I wanted a tail, and I wanted it in the shell. Tell me what you want. This guy had his done already. I got the little fucking piece. I'm like, what am I going to do with it? Ben just fucked me over. There's no more meat, right? No. Right, clearly, four against three. 30 seconds, decide. Who has the weakest dish? Hurry up. Get a fork. Taste. Well, at least you had the sense and intelligence to taste. This one? Yes. Thank God. Ten seconds left. That's good. I think it's a little too truffly. I don't know if I like that one. I'm sorry. That's fine. OK, whose dish do you like the least? Mine. I'm not happy. I'm just really disappointed right now. I want another opportunity to show myself and let him see that I'm not a fuck up. What was the dish? I made a potato puree and I put some lobster. Sounds disgusting. Good choice. Right, first round. Holly versus Eds. David LaFaver of the Water Grill will be judging the first round. Holly, explain to David what it is, please. I have a butter poached lobster. I have a ginger lobster sauce mounted with a little bit of butter and a fresh fennel salad on top. OK. Oh, god. How is my dish going to go in front of these amazing chefs? I started shaking at that point. <laughs> How was that? It's good. It's good. You get the ginger, you get the flavors that you're talking about, and yeah, the vegetable. Uh, right, Ed, explain to David, please, your dish. We have a poached and then grilled lobster tail medallions. Mm -hmm. Underneath is a mango and ginger puree. It's a little chewy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely right. Slightly rubbery. How's that feel to you? I just don't want it too rubbery. It feels good. The seasoning on the vegetables is very good, but that, the lobster, I think, is overcooked. OK. Tough decision. Um, two creative dishes. Mm -hmm. If you were to choose, would you go for the red team or would you go for the blue team, please, David? I think in terms of creativity, this one's a little bit more creative. But I think in terms of execution, I would choose this one. Well done, Holly. Thank congratulations. You. Thank, Thank you, Chef. One nil for the red. I think that Holly's been flying under the radar. I think she has great potential to be really strong in this competition. OK, for the second round, uh, Michael Simarusi, please. Up next, two Michelin star chef Michael Simarusti prepares to taste Autumn and Jason's lobster creations. <laughs> wow, look at that. Yeah, that's huge. <laughs> Jesus. That was a big lobster, though. We'll use that as the bathtub yeah. after dinner. <laughs> I've never in my 13 years of cooking seen anything like that. It was like a salad bar with a meatloaf on top. That would not be a single person. Yeah. Family style or appetizer people could dip in. I'm 6'4". I'm a real big guy. And when I get hungry, I just want to eat. Explain to Michael what it is, please. Uh, yes, Chef. Uh, uh, up underneath inside the lobster tail, we went with a saffron polenta. We took some of the uh, water spinach, uh, rainbow carrots, and asparagus. Michael, what do you think? You know, there, there are fairly good flavors going on here. I mean, surprisingly, the lobster's actually not too bad. Uh, good points. Very good points. Autumn, uh, explain to um, Michael, please, what it is. Thank this you. This is a lobster stir fry, and there's also a little uh, cilantro basil chervil. The one thing that I would look for in this dish would be a higher level of refinement, you know? It, it's all like you're sort of clobbering the lobster with all these huge flavors. Michael, 
if you're coming for dinner this evening in Hell's Kitchen, would you order the lobster from the blue team or the red team? I would, I would order, I think I'd order the, the dish from the blue team from Jason. You know, I could feed my family a four with that. Yep. <laughs> OK, 1-1. One, one. OK, third round. Josiah, Citroen, please, come over, buddy. With the score tied, Jay and his former teammate and current rival, Benjamin, face off to determine who will win the challenge. OK, dishes, please. Right, Benjamin, explain exactly what it is, please. Uh, we poached it and then finished off the lobster tail in uh, butter. Did a parsnip puree with the sherry vinaigrette, chef. Well, I think the presentation of the dish is sloppy. So let's see a little more, you know, finesse to the dish. Yes, chef. I was rushing right from the beginning. My dish looked like slop. But um, I thought Jay's dish looked immaculate, you know? I was like, oh, fuck. Jay, please, uh, explain to Chai. This is a lobster knuckle and black truffle cappuccino. I made a little canapé of just some poached lobster with a brioche and a little bit of caviar creme fraiche. So when you eat the cappuccino, if you would, please, just eat from the bottom up. Yeah. Um, I don't think you need to tell Chef how to eat. Trust me. Chef. Sure. These ingredients, I mean, the, the combination's classical. It gives justice to lobster, but unfortunately, underneath, the lobster's raw. Red team or blue team, please? That's a tough decision. Um, Neither one I would want to eat at the end of the night. No winner. Back in line. The fact that neither of them got a point was shocking to me. I thought they would have killed it. You know, both of them. Because they're both like, really great chefs. With the score still tied, it's up to Chef Ramsay to determine the winner. In order to break the tie, I'm going to award the point to the person with the best dish overall. I'm going to give that to... Holly. Yes, you've won it for the red tea. Woo! Thank you. Thank you, Holly. You're welcome. Dish was the best by far. Red team finally won, and I'm proud to say that I kicked ass on this dish. It really did. Gentlemen, as always, right. come back and say it's good to see you. Yes. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.